Hi y'all! Welcome back to another episode of Cribs of Conan. In today's episode, we're touring Sexy Big's unique base located on the Frozen Bridge in the north. We're also getting a VIP tour from Sexy Big himself, so I hope y'all join us. Also, I apologize for how I sound during the interview. Due to my excitement, my voice is a bit louder and higher pitched than usual. <laughs> Hi y'all! Welcome back to another episode of Cribs of Conan! And this month I am really excited to show you a really cool base made by one of our members in our server and our friend uh, Sexy Big or Rock Ruby and we are joined by him today as he gives us a tour of his really cool base. Thanks for having us! You're welcome! <laughs> Alright well first off well I'm gonna follow you but I see that your base is not only on top of the bridge, like how I did, like my aqueduct, but it looks like it's underneath your ba underneath the bridge too. Am I correct? Yeah, it started out as a hanging base, and then I added <laughs> to the top later. Then oh. it looked and looked more like an arc, so I just left it with the arc thing. It does. 
from this angle, it totally looks like an arc. It's so cool. I'm so excited to t take a tour and have everyone see this. I will follow you. So um, lead the way and I'll okay. ask you questions as we uh, take a tour. All right. So when you were making this, you said it started off as an under, under, under the bridge base. What were some of the challenges in making it under the bridge as opposed to on top? Uh, probably placing the pillars because you had to place the pillars on the floor first and then raise it all the way up to the ceiling. Uh huh. And then break the ceiling, break the pillars up to the ceiling, and, and then go f start from the ceiling down so they would support the weight. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh my if gosh. If not, they would be in the red the whole time. And you know, you did such a good job. It looks so polished. decorations really it's so cool it's such a cool idea yeah something different yeah Some castles and stuff right no I like it it's very unique and I like that like the building pieces did you have this in mind when you started doing this or or well, at first at first I started out using the uh, insulated pieces because it's so cold here right if you don't have a decent armor you'll take damage because of the extreme cold okay but then I changed to this other armor just because of the looks. And right. after you have fires and stuff inside. It'll keep you warm. Yeah. Right on. All right. Or right, these are some of your spawns, Demonic. Nice. Yeah, I just spawned that in just by the hell of it. I like nice. the way it looks. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, this is cool. Oh, very cool. So is this... Oh, okay, we can stand here. This, this is the elevator, okay. yeah. So we are connected to the ground on the bottom. Oh, okay. And it's just a clutter in here, just a workspace. Nothing fancy. I like it though. I like oh the red mother. I like how I like how the glasses this reminds me, I don't know if you've ever been inside the stratosphere. Um, mm -hmm. and how it's slanted and it looks down. That's kinda like what yeah. it looks like here. That's cool. I bet it was really hard to do though. Yeah, like I said, the pillars were the hard because it started off with just a flossom base made out of wood. Right. And wow. then I upgraded to the bigger pieces when I could build them, yeah. That is so cool. So so this is the work area. Mm -hmm. And then, do we go up here? Yeah, you can. This is just a more of a work. This this side here is what this side here was how it started before oh, it was okay. a hanging base. Nice. This was the first thing. Oh, good. I'm glad to see you've got some pussies in here too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you sp this rock ruby or sexy big is the one that blessed my monstrosity with, like. Too many kitty cats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear them mewing all over my face. They're here. See, I got them. They're hanging out. This is cool. I like how you can um, you stand up over this and uh, look down over it too. That's yeah. really cool. And you know, it was just basic. And then, like I said, when I first started, this was the bed, the small bedroom, just oh. place for the fire to uh -huh. keep you warm. Right. Very cool. Uh, there's that. Let's see here. What else is there? Oh, sorry. I closed the you're door. Right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Okay, so there's this, and then there's also below, I think. Let me see. There's just some few spots below. There's nothing special. Oh! Then, then if we go up here, you go through this door. This goes all the way around. I never really filled it in because this is main, the main bridge pillar. Oh, that's cool. I like that you built it around it. That's yeah. cool and unique. And then, you know, back here is the, the bank of fridges and stuff. And <laughs> I love her name. <laughs> <laughs> I just got done recording uh, Fajas and he's got uh -huh. a rhino named uh, Odom, and he's got uh -huh. uh, his <laughs> another rhino named Princess Mike, so lots of you, shout mm -hmm. outs. <laughs> then you come over here and you go through this door here. Okay. 
This is my. Oh, this is cool. To keep it enclosed, this is a yeah. spiral staircase going to the top. Oh, shut up! So, okay, so it does connect. I didn't think yes. it connected. Then you go to the top, <gasps> then you come out on top through the double door that goes to oh. the main wall. Are we on top, Neil? You're on top of the bridge now. Oh no way! I mean, oh. it's, it's that's cool. Because I started at the bottom, the top. Bait, the top part of it is offset of the bridge, so it's okay. not completely centered on the bridge. So the doors look kind of. When you go out the end door, you'll see they're offset to one side. Okay. But only because I didn't start on the top. Right on. I if like. If I would have started on top, I would have known. I like how you. This is part of the bridge. The steps, right? Yeah, all the steps are the bridge. That's cool though, because it's like you could just sit here. I mean, like this is mm -hmm. like, yeah. And it's just some more workspace up here that's out of the way. Bigger equipment. A lot of it's just storage. I like. So, and um, what were the challenge? Okay, so I know that you talked about the pillars. What yeah, are your the pillars for the hanging. Um, what were some of the other uh, challenges on top of the base? Like up here, and then uh, did you have any, like, visuals to go off of? Or did you just wing it? Just winged it. Okay. Like I said, if you walk out this door, I'll show you what I mean. If you walk out here and turn around and look at the door, it's offset to one side. Like I said, if I would have started oh, on top, uh -huh. I could have centered the door more. Gotcha. But you know what? That's not really a big deal. It's like, I mean, that's like we're, we're, we're that, talking semantics. And it's built right up against one of the story pieces here, the obelisk uh, or whatever you call it. You click yeah. on it and it tells you a story. Oh, yeah. yes. Okay. Oh, what a cool location! Out of so, why did you choose? I mean, I mean, it is a really cool location. But when you were choosing to do your own base, what was it that? Look, it's when me and Faja time was planned. We were we were looking for a a uh, temporary base. Uh huh. And we wanted one up here close to the volcano. So we stu I, we de I decided to make one here close to the volcano up here. Here, if you come out the other side, I'll show you. Okay. So you, oh. you know, you go through. I'm following you. I just got. All right, you're all right. More, more storage, of course. You come out the back side. Oh, let me make sure I got the. Oh, these on are you. cool, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, these are cool. And then if you come out here, I got the cloak on, so these guys won't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But that's one of the spawn things on the other side. Oh shit! Do I have my cloak on? Oh, they're coming oh. for me! Oh! <gasps> oh, sorry. That's okay. Hold on, let me turn off my um. I thought I had my cloak on. There. I'm sorry. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> that's all part of living up here. <laughs> sorry about that. That's fine. Oh, you're. Your rhino is. Oh, this is a tusk beast. <gasps> I've not seen them this like. Oh, he right? they're badasses. Thank you. Sorry about that. Now I'm. Close. That's okay. What I was <laughs> saying is on this side over here. That's one of those spawn. Like when you get the spawn map. Oh yeah. That's one of the spawn sections for the ice here, right by oh, that volcano. Okay. Oh, that's so smart. So that we could actually, if we didn't want, like, if we didn't have the admin privileges, we can just use the map. To come here. Yeah, and you can spawn here and get here. Oh, that's sick. That's really sick. What a cool. That's. And how far? F like, we're not really that far from the volcano either, are we? Yeah, if you look on the map, like where your base is at down here on the, the aqueduct. Okay. Mine, mine's right here, down right from the base of going up the mountain to the, uh, the pass to the mountain to the volcano. Okay. That is so cool. Yeah, so you're right here, and then I'm down here. Yeah, I like that. I like that yeah. we're neighbors. That is cool, and then the volcano's not too far away. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So, do you still have more work to do, to do once uh, before we turn on the purge, or do you think that if you had it just right now, it could withhold the purge? I think I'd leave it just like it is. You I mean... I mean, it, they'll probably still make it in. They'll probably still get some damage done. I just, I'm just curious if they can, like, if they'll purge up, you know, start up here and try to make it to the middle of the base. Right. I don't, and, unless 
unless they spawn inside the base, I don't see them getting to the hanging part of the base. Yeah, I didn't know that they spawned in until, like, yeah, Faja was saying that they will spawn inside. Well, they can. My understanding is they can if you're not connected to the main ground. Oh, okay. But my elevator, I consider that connected to the main ground. Well, it's on the ice, anyways. Right. I don't know. Right, right. That connects it to the main ground, and it's connected on top to the ground up here. So I don't know. This is really cool. Oh, so is this a is this an actual like a t oh this is an altar? Is this the yeah? Um, this is the altar of Zeth. Okay, is she maxed out? Uh, yes. That's cool. No, I don't think she is. She doesn't have okay. the what you call it out the top. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. She, she's not maxed out yet. Okay. That's cool. It makes for a really cool, um, you know, this has like museum vibes to it too. I mean, I know it's a base, but it has like seeing this in the middle. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's really cool. This is a really fun design. I really, and really unique. I really like. It's, yeah, it's, it's like I said, it started off like I, I like the thinking of it as an arc. Uh huh. And then I thought, well, let's just go, let's just go with the thing on the top. And then it turned into like the vaulted ceiling, yep. like a cathedral. Uh huh. It does look like that. That has uh, yes. You hit it on the nail. Very cathedral like. Yeah. Yeah, it has a presence for sure. Mhm. Mm oh, I like. Wow. So um. How long did this? Did you make this all in God mode or in create? No, uh, no. This ground. This was, this was all done in in scrounge. I had to. We had to scrounge Whoa. all the parts for all this. That's impressive. Okay, that's how my monstrosity was, except for the labyrinth. Yeah. That is so cool. That wow. There was a lot of iron hunting right there. Oh, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is but you're crazy. close by a lot of iron around here, so yeah. Oh, that's not... convenient. This is really cool. Now, do your animals and thralls take damage being out here, or no? I, I, I don't take cold damn cold damage, no. Okay. And then you can get but, down to the bottom from here. Okay. Yeah, you can get down to the bottom of each side from here. That's like on the on the other end by the ice, there's a lot of frost lotus that grows on the oh, edge of the, yeah. the bridge. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. So, um, what's one of the thing? What, what's the what's one of your favorite things about this base? I like it that it's on the main road. Oh, so the main road the runs through here. This is like one of the main roads if you look at the map. What? Hold on. Okay. Where are we? Yeah, because you got the main road that goes through these arches, that like these teeth arches right here. Yeah. Like the yeah. Oh wow! I and did it, not know that. And, it, and like I said, it's a storyline road. Oh, I had no idea. So will so, it take you from like the broken bridge or from the broken highway? Will it take you all the way up here? Well, by that, but I mean, but it's it's like a, a game piece. Like if you come over here, you, like you you've done it before. If you hit on this game piece and listen to it talk to you. Oh, okay. Hang on, I lost you. Where are you? I'm I'm back at the front of my door right here on the bridge. Oh, okay. That's another reason I kept it here. Yeah. Oh, you could you if you wanted to could you take it off or no? No. This like I said, this is part. Of, this is part of the the story game. Line. Okay. The storyline piece right here. You click on it and it tells you about the bridge and. The, about the volcano a little bit. Across this bridge stands Zula. It was originally an outpost built by your people, though for what purpose we do not know. If you have been sent one to one to serve Tyros, I urge you to listen to his every word. He is the best of your kind, strong and loyal. He serves in this remote outpost and defends us against the Lemurian incursions into our farmlands. He denies them access to our food supply. In the volcano. Always the volcano. Oh, that's cool. What right? a that is dope. Ha 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 Nice. So it's like it's like our our version of the re a remote outpost going to that to that outpost. Okay. I like. I li wow. And I like that I know that 
th like the original, like this, this architecture was in game, but building your door into it and then your base, it frames your yeah, base is framed I, into the mountains. I kept the, I kept the design. Yeah. It, it goes with the pillars on the top right here. Yeah. All the way back. Wow. Hang on, I'm gonna go fly so I can take it in. Yeah. That is so cool. That's why I kept the curve like that. That's why that's vaulted ceiling inside because it follows right to that peak. Oh, it's it's beautiful. And then I figured I figured just just enough light to light it up at night. Yeah. And make it kind of stand off, you know. So is this your bedroom from over here, where where you took me over? Is this like your bedroom area right here? Let's see here. No, the bedroom's down below. Oh, oh yeah, okay. It's over here. The bedroom really don't have a, a side window, so this is the okay. uh, this is the staircase going up right here. Oh, that's, that's oh, what, oh, the spiral. Th this yeah, okay. That, that took one of the hardest things to make was to make the spiral staircase by being oh fully gosh. enclosed from yeah, the weather. Yeah, exactly. Because you'll take like if it was open, you take damage then. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That I mean, is that's why, really impressive. That's why it looks so funky out here in the design because it's completely enclosed inside. Honestly, it does not look funky. It looks built in. It, yeah. I mean, it look, that's cool. I'm gonna go to the other side underneath. Okay. That is so cool. Okay. Wow. That. Wow, I, I'm glad that you did this. Uh, you, each one, everybody did it like a really cool, unique design. Yeah, right. And it turned out all right. Yeah, no, it turned out really dope. I like to see everybody's creativity. So, would you doing this again? Would you do like if you had another challenge like this? Would you do another base? Sure. Would you do it but like? I, go ahead. I would. I would. You know. We, Search the search the countryside. Look for a different place to put one. Oh, for sure, yeah. That's out of the way that no one's thought of before. Exactly right. I'm with you there. I like that's what I like about it is like finding unique places. And I, you know, I like the bridge because it's the, the, the just the design of it. Yeah. All the dra you know, all the ancient like the ancient Chinese dragons. Yeah. All over it. Yeah, no, I did. You totally took advantage of it. This is a really unique spot. And I like yeah. that, you know, most people would just think right on top of the bridge, but underneath the bridge, I like that idea. That That is really yeah, like I said, unique. It's, it, it started out on this back pillar, and it was just the pillar, so that where, where the bedroom was at, and it goes around. Uh huh. All, that, all those were walls at one time, and I, I took oh, the wow. walls out to open, and then I decided to make it hanging. Uh huh. And stretch it. It used to only go about halfway across, and then I was like, "I'm gonna just keep going." <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did. Uh, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I like it. I think the architecture, the piece, like it fits with the bridge too. Yeah. I know, like, the grinding for it was, must have been really tough, but it really yeah. it, it is very complimentary. Like like I said, it was all it was all built out of wood first. Yeah. And then I just, basically, when I got the pieces designed, they just click in and take over the wood spot. But you, like I said, it's just getting the pieces. Right, exactly. Wow. You did phenomenal. It is a great job. You guys are so creative. Right? I, yeah, totally. Oh, and here's your stables. Yeah, they were just out here. So I needed somewhere to somewhere flat to put them. You couldn't put them on the bridge. Now, do the uh, like the bad guys around here? Do they they leave them alone? No, yeah. The, the only the only bad guys is here. If you come back here, there's a guy right here at the end of the bridge here, underneath. Okay. He's by all the frost lotus over here. Oh yeah. Okay. And then there's you know two there are two guys that hang out at the end of the bridge. That we killed that were they hang out right here okay so i couldn't move it no closer i would keep spawning them in. oh yeah for sure but like i said it, it it dumps out to this obelisk thing right here and then right there's a store there's a storyline dungeon on the left side over here somewhere you go into oh okay for gotcha i don't think we've ever done this 
Have you guys done this? The storyline dungeon here? Yeah, I've been in there a couple times. Ah, oh, I might have to before we leave if we do, if we choose not to do the server. Uh -huh. and I I want to do this dungeon really quick because this is cool. I mean, I really like this castle back here. I know. I'm, I was seeing it. it. Yeah. This is cool. Are there, do people live in it? I don't know. It's part of the storyline. I've never really. You can come to it and you can go inside of it back here. Really? Mm hmm. Enter the black. It's the black keep. Oh. There's another. Um, there's another storyline uh, stone out here. Where you at? Oh, uh, I'm. Oh shoot. I know. I'm I'm up here by the big by the big castle with the lights on the top. Oh okay. Oh I see you. Yeah. So if you fly down, down here where these spires are at. Uh huh. There's another stone to the right of it. Oh okay. Right here, and this is uh, I think this is like the people that did the rebellion, as far as I can tell. Oh okay. That's cool. Oh yeah, this is the first time I've discovered the black keep. That's cool. I like that you're so close. Yeah. And then from here to the volcano going this way, you got there's dragons you can fight. And what? There's dragons the in here too? Well, it's in the snow over here to the right of it. What? Like big dragons like the Red Mother? Uh, like their daughter is I'm guessing what you call it her daughter. Really? It to the right of it? Uh, no, it's up on top. So if you go from here and go higher, there's a spot above it. Oh wow! Where where are they at? I s there's black ice there. There's a pass there. I know I fought them here before. Me and uh, Faja time. Maybe it's maybe it's before you get farther over on the other side, man. Okay, that's cool. I'd like to like go fight these guys. That's cool. Like get us all in there. Wow, this is so cool. And so it's nice to um have your base if you come in from here. Your base is mm -hmm. the first base to then come and uh, unload things, get warm, get healed. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because you'll. This looks imposing i'm not gonna lie to where right you yeah you're gonna need some serious uh healing afterwards okay oh i'm going opposite way so if you go yeah if you drop down back down to the water it's on the okay yeah you're gonna go back oh okay back, i uh, see west. it yep i'm coming Ah, uh, but yeah, I'd be all like, "Oh, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> home, sweet home." <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And like I said, your but your base is just down the river. Right. And, and it's the start of your your start of your aqueduct. Right. The river right here. Yeah. That is so cool. This is super cool. Sexy big. Sorry. That's okay. I'll edit That's that okay. out. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, I'm excited to see um, when we turn the purge on how this does, and I I think it'll do pretty good. I totally think that it should have no problem with it at all. But yeah, I I was really impressed with this, and I hope my viewers are just as impressed with this really cool base as I was today. I thank you so much for giving me the taking the time to welcome, give no us the tour and. We'll revisit the space again in the purge. And so until next time, thanks for joining us in this tour of Rock Ruby's uh, really cool bridge base. Peace, love, and blessed be y'all. Bye. Later.